everybody welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg show I'm uh, sitting here behind the mill pond in Delvin Wisconsin um, in a brand new Wisconsin Greg chat mobile uh, I got a 2023 GMC Canyon uh, pickup and I uh, got rid of the old 2012 uh, Chevrolet Silverado um, I'll put some pictures in here right now and show you what it looks like and stuff I wasn't uh, super crazy about the color at first, but it's kind of growing on me. I'm kind of enjoying it now, starting to get to like it better. pretty fancy I tell you that it's got leather seats and uh, it's got all kinds of options on it and uh, I didn't really want all them options but kind of that's how they do it I think they do that on purpose they keep the supply down so uh, when you need a vehicle you kind of got to get one with the supplies or else you're gonna have to wait and I didn't want to wait so I ended up getting one uh, with a quite a quite a few options on it so anyways uh, it's pretty nice I'm happy with it um, Hopefully it doesn't cause any, get, cause me any problems or anything, so hopefully it'll be a nice truck. Um, but anyways, I um, thought I'd do a first truck chat in here today. And uh, I was going to bring up about one of my other subscribers that I have on my channel, that uh, another YouTuber. Uh, she's from northern Wisconsin, and if you want to go check her channel out, go ahead. I'll leave a link in, her des in the description. And uh, she's a... Uh, it's, she's a, got a great channel. Uh, she's got a good brain in her head. She, she has a lot of common sense and uh, she's fun to listen to. Uh, her name is uh, Raven in a Van I Am. Uh, she kind of, I guess you'd say, lives in a van. And uh, sometimes I feel kind of, uh, it's kind of rough for her up there in northern Wisconsin with the way the winters are and stuff. I feel kind of sorry for her, but that's, that's what she likes to do, I guess. And uh, it's a pretty interesting channel, so go check her out. But anyways, I was talking with her the other day on uh, YouTube, and uh, <clears throat> she mentioned the deaf school. She knew exactly where the Delavan was. And that's, that's something I think I never brought up too much. Or if I did, it was very little on my channel about the deaf school in Delavan, Wisconsin. Uh, I'm not positive, but I believe it may be the only one in the state. Um, and I don't think there's too many of them in the country. So anyways... Um, uh, that's why I'm sitting here behind the mill pond because the deaf school is right here and uh, I'm gonna take this camera and flip it around and uh, show you show you where the deaf school is and uh, what it looks like um, let me just it's gonna be a little shaky but let me turn this around and show you so right behind that building there is a mill pond where everybody goes swimming in the uh, summertime wintertime people used to go ice skating there I don't know if they do that anymore or not um, and then right next to here is where they have the, the skate park and everybody goes skateboarding and stuff here. But if you look right behind there, that big building there, and there's actually a whole bunch of buildings back in there. Even to the left in the trees, you see a line going across. That's a big building. It's all, con it's all a bunch of buildings to put together. That's all the deaf school back there. Um, I guess they have, I guess from pre-kindergarten to 12th grade, I think they have around... From what I see online, it looks like 24, 24, 25 full-time teachers, um, which to me seems kind of low for the size of the buildings because it's a pretty big area. Um, and from my understanding, I believe a lot of them live right there in the school, I believe. They're, that's probably why it's so big because it's got living spaces, I believe. But don't quote me 100%, but I do believe that's true. Um... My uncle used to work there when I was a kid, when I was very young. He used to be the boiler operator there. He's the one that kept the place heated and stuff years ago. I believe he retired from there. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, I'd go outside today, but it's kind of not very nice. It's really windy out, and it's about 40, I think it's 40, 47 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm sitting in the truck here doing this today. But anyways, I thought some of you might be interested in... There is a deaf school here, and uh, they have schools just like everybody else, except there's just less of them, I guess. You know, some of them have to come travel down here and live here to go to school here. 
um, years ago when I was younger, I used to see a bunch of groups of kids uh, walking through the town and stuff, and they'd be deaf students or kids that went to this school, and they'd all be walking through towns and stuff, but I haven't seen any groups of kids from the deaf school walking around, and you can, you can tell because they're all talking in sign language, and I haven't seen that at all. I don't know if they don't let them leave the campus or... Or I don't know what the reason is. I just I haven't personally not seen any, but maybe they are walking around and I just haven't seen them. But anyways, I thought that's kind of strange that I haven't seen them for quite a few years walking around. But anyways, I just thought I'd bring this up and uh, do a little quick truck chat and show you that we have a deaf school in Delavan, Wisconsin. And also wanted to bring up about the raven in the van channel she's on the northern part of the state so if you want to go check her channel out go ahead and check her channel out um, you can see what it's like on the total opposite end of the state i'm not sure exactly where she's located but i know it's pretty far up there and uh so i'm on the southern border and she's up on the northern part so go check her channel out she got a little dog that lives with her in the van and uh it's a nice channel so anyways um, I'm gonna let you go. Um, I still got my whiskers on and uh, they're coming off in the next day or two and uh, then all everything will be all back to normal. But I shaved them off a little bit earlier than the end of the month but I started a little bit earlier so anyways that's a thing I brought up. We do that a lot of people do that now in November, no shave November. So Anyways, just want to make this a quick short one, and we'll catch you on the next Wisconsin Greg show. And uh, sure, there'll be many more, more videos coming in the new Wisconsin Greg truck. Yeah, I forgot, almost forgot. There was two more things I wanted to tell you before I leave. Um, we had uh, deer season open up this uh, this last weekend, and uh, wanted to show you a deer that was taken on my property by a hunter. Uh, pretty nice one. Uh, he called it a 10 pointer. I would consider it maybe 11 pointer. I don't know how long the, the points have to be to be counted. Uh, the one point that I'm counting is probably maybe just a half inch sticks out a half inch. It's very, very short. Uh, but anyways, it's at least a 10 pointer, if not an 11 pointer. Uh, very, very nice deer he took off uh, my property on the, in the woods. Uh, so I, I'm gonna put a picture on here of it. You can take a look. Uh, pretty nice deer. <laughs> Um, another thing I wanted to show you is I was, did another painting this past week. I uh, painted a crow, and uh, I'm going to put a picture of that in here too. I know a lot of you like to watch and see the paintings I do. <music> So I'm getting a little bit better at painting, uh, but I still got a long ways to go. But uh, I can tell you what, since I started, I'm in, I can see I can I can definitely see improvement, a great great improvement. So uh, I got to keep painting, and maybe uh, in the next either today or tomorrow I'm going to paint into something else. I'm not sure what I'm going to paint. Uh, one thing I was considering uh, painting is uh, one of the wooden cigar statue Indians at the uh, uh, companies like cigar company or stores used to have in front of their stores years ago um, I kind of looked up the history of them and uh, kind of figured out why they used to put them in the front of the stores um, uh, the same reason they used to put um, or they, they still do but uh, how it got started years ago with uh, the barber pole uh, the, the colored barber pole I can't remember I think it's blue red and blue or something uh, and white I can't remember the exact colors but you know how they're spiral in, in front of the barber shops, and uh, found out the reasoning for what they had, why they had they, these things years ago. And uh, from what I'm understanding, the reason is because back then there was a lot of people that couldn't read, so they use uh, things like that to uh, um, tell people where, where the certain stores were that they couldn't read the writing, so they'd put like something like that, and they could see it, and then they know where to go. They they see that spiral pole, they know that's where to get a haircut. They see that. Indian, a wooden Indian in front of a store, they know that's the place to buy cigars. And uh, 
I'm kind of curious. I want to do some more investigating and find out what other uh, symbols they used back then for people that couldn't read. I think it's kind of interesting. So I thought maybe I'd paint that and maybe eventually I'll do a painting of a barbershop and uh, kind of document this stuff. And uh, so younger generations can see it on the paintings and uh, ask questions and uh, learn from history. So anyways, that's it. Uh, that's it. I, I didn't forget anything else. That's all. So thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next Wisconsin Great Show. Bye now.